All right, guys, today we are going to make our gnome. So start out by splitting up your clay. You need some clay for the head and hat and some clay for the body. My clay really is too hard, too dry, um, but we're just gonna make it work. This is my little gnome. I went with like Christmas tree body. All right, so we'll just speed up through most of the video here because it took me over an hour. So to make the Christmas tree body, I decided to do a coil. Remember, this is just one option. It's not, um, this is not necessarily how you have to make yours. You need to use two of our main techniques, pinch, coil, um, and or slab, two of the three. I tried to do mine so that I would use all three techniques just so you could see some options, but they really are just options. So the first thing that I did was make the Christmas tree body, and you can see it cracked a lot again. Clay's too dry, but we just kind of went with it clean that up later. So I smeared it on the inside so that I could leave the outside like a coil. Then I need to make the head. So to make the head, I'm going to make a pinch pot. Just take note too, the top of the Christmas tree body part is open. Uh, so it's not going to trap any air or anything. All right. And we're just scratch wet weld this on. And... Make sure that it's welded on really well. We don't want our gnome's head to fall off. Now, I'm not too worried about cracks and stuff. Um, I'm just making sure that the face area is gonna is smoothed out. The rest of it's gonna end up covered up anyway, so it doesn't make a whole lot of difference. And then I'm just using my skewer tool, tool mostly and carving in a mouth. I wanted my guy to look like he was happy, uh, maybe like he was singing. So just kind of using like a cartoon kind of expression, put in a mouth. And you don't have to put a face on yours at all. You could just do the nose, um, which would be fine. I decided to do the face just so that you could see that example. Put my nose on. Remember, something needs to be exaggerated. So I've got the big nose. And then I made his eyes um, closed. So just some happy eyes and some eyebrows. And then I put on the eyelids. Just make sure you're always scratch wet welding. Even the tiniest little pieces like these are st I'm still welding on because they will fall off, especially if your clay is a little on the dry side like mine is. All right, now this is just kind of a fun little trick. You can use a metal colander and push clay through it and make this like fuzzball kind of looking thing. So I did that to make my beard hair. And you don't have to do that either. You can just use like a little slab of clay and carve it so that it looks like hair. Um, but I thought I'd just show you something different. So the trick to this is you have to use really wet clay for the hair and then you have to have lots of slip as well so that it stays because it's not really easy to weld all of this on. So you gotta just make sure that everything is really wet and sticky. And then I use the tip of my fettling knife to kind of weld around the edges where I could. And I kind of pushed it together with my fingers so that the pieces were somewhat stuck together on their own without completely smushing it out and ruining all the texture. So I kind of went back and forth a good bit with this, with the, you know, adding little pieces and whatnot and added it in layers and, and in chunks so that I could get it welded on and secured. Like I said, this took me like an hour and a half. So the whole video, I just sped up the whole thing. Okay. And then I decided to use the same little squigglies of clay to make a mustache and just made sure that that was well attached under the nose. After you get them on, once they're fired, they will be much stronger. For now, they're very fragile, so we want to just avoid touching them as much as possible so that they don't break. Just continuing to add little bits of beard hair. All right, so then I went and got a slab. I'm cleaning up the outside of the slab and wrapping it around its head just to kind of guesstimate how big the hat needs to be. And then I cut it 
uh, to size the same way that we did the mug and the lightsaber. Then I angled the sides into so that it would be like a triangle, kind of checking the size, and then I scratch what welded the seam together. I know I'm off camera, but there we go. Uh, scratch what welded the seam together to make a little cone. I left the long part of the cone in the back so that it could go on the back of the head and fit a little bit, a little bit better, uh, but I just wanted it to not be pointed, so I just rounded it off and scratch what well, well now i didn't put it in the video because mine has little um, places where the air can get out but if you seal your hat on top of the head you're sealing a giant air pocket inside that hat so you can go up through the inside and poke a hole um, or poke a hole in the back somewhere so that you can uh, make up an escape route for the air when it's in the kiln because you've got a big hollow space between the head and the hat so just watch out for those hollow spaces make sure that you're always giving yourself an air bubble or an, uh, an air hole somewhere i've got little air holes right there beside my eyebrows so i did not have to poke a hole but that's not always the case I'm just adding some more some more hair, kind of some sideburns. Using that fettling knife to help me weld where I can't reach my fingers. And a lot of these little hair squigglies of clay were too long, so I would, I would cut them so that they were the size that I wanted. Not my, my best work uh, staying under the camera. Sorry about that. All right, and then just starting to clean some stuff up and use the brush to help me clean up around the edges of the hat. Cleaning up some cracks, making sure everything is secured, little extra slip around the nose. Can use the brush to clean up the carving for the mouth. Just cleaning, cleaning, cleaning. And since it was a Christmas tree, I wanted to make some little Christmas tree ornaments. So I just rolled a couple little balls and then we'll just scratch weld, weld those on. Cleaning up the cracks from using clay that was too dry. I was in a bit of a rush, so I didn't take the time to get new clay like I should have. Just clean, clean everything. And then we'll get those ornaments scratch and welded into place. and then just continuing to clean up all the way around. Get everything as clean as possible, making sure everything is really welded on. Those ornaments have to be welded. Sorry, the bell. Making sure those ornaments are welded on. Everything is really attached. A little extra slip here and there. Just make sure everything is secure. A little extra slip also helps uh, fixing those, those cracks. All right, there he is, all done.